under a minute away from launch. T minus 40 seconds. The Centaur tanks will reach flight pressure at T minus 30. T minus 28. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Teacher Sim. All systems are go. T minus 15 seconds and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have liftoff of Tedris M on the Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. Tedris M securing space to ground communication for NASA's low Earth orbit operations, including the International Space Station. Yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path at an inclination of 26.2 degrees. You're hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Patrick is the United Launch Alliance Denver Network Operations Center and Command well. Control Center. Pump speed and injector pressure is all looking good. Now we the data coming directly from the rocket. Flight. The Atlas yeah, rocket carrying Tetris uh, M reached supersonic here. speed at 1 minute 20 seconds into flight. Now passing 1 minute into flight. The vehicle is now 3 miles in altitude and traveling at 1100 miles per hour. Standing by for max Q. Or now max passing 1 minute 15 pressure. seconds into minute flight. 32 seconds into flight. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the and atmosphere. The RD 180 is throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. This engine thrust profile will continue until the vehicle reaches a program 5G acceleration limit. About two minutes into the flight and of Atlas. now passing two minutes into flight, approximately two minutes remaining in the first stage of flight. Vehicle trajectory traveling right down the middle of the range track looking good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also looking good. Booster engine cutoff slated for four minutes, two seconds after launch. The Atlas V rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,600 pounds per second. And vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. And RCS pyro valve has been fired. Centaur reaction control system now pressurizing the flight levels. Atlas V is now 30 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,700 miles per hour. And now passing three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until booster engine cutoff. RD-180 continues to perform well. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. ULA's Patrick Moore providing vehicle ascent data. Three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Now passing three minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Mach 10. And vehicle has reached the 5G throttle limit. And we've begun boost phase chill down. Less than 30 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Three minutes, 50 seconds into flight, standing by for BCO momentarily. Six seconds after BCO, the Centaur second stage will separate from the Atlas booster. And we have BCO, booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage step. 
Ten seconds after separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. The Centaur single RLC engine ignites for the first time. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. The RL-10 produces 22,900 pounds of thrust and burns for just under eight minutes. And we have good indication of fairing separation. This is the first of two planned burns for today's mission. This first burn should last approximately 13 minutes and 40 seconds. The payload fairing protecting TDRS-M during its flight through the atmosphere and has RL10 been jettisoned. And RL-10 engine operating parameters all looking good. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. The Centaur is now 107 miles in altitude, 350 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,160 miles per hour. And the reaction control system has begun periodic firings to maintain thermal conditioning as expected. The Centaur propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control. Now passing five minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Initial look at booster performance shows a near nominal performance. Uh, data quality continuing to look good from this uh, initial phase of flight. Now passing six minutes into flight, the Centaur is now 145 miles in altitude, 560 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,500 miles per hour. Now passing six minutes, 30 seconds into flight, RL-10 continuing to perform well. Uh, chamber pressures and pump pressures all looking good. About 11 minutes remaining in the Centaur burn prior to MECO-1. And vehicle body rates all remaining very stable for uh, this first Centaur burn. And the periodic RCS firings for thermal conditioning have warmed up the RCS lines to, uh, to near bottle temperatures. And engine pressure is all continuing to remain very stable, looking good. Centaur is now 173 miles in altitude, 815 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,000 miles per hour. Eight minutes into the flight of Tetris M. Centaur upper stage continuing with its burn. And the RL-10 is operating as expected now, uh, making slight modifications to the propellant utilization. Now passing eight minutes, 30 seconds into flight, RL-10 continuing to perform very well. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. Centaur is now 187 miles in altitude, 1,080 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,800 miles per hour.
computer graphics showing the Tetris M spacecraft atop uh, the Centaur upper stage. Everything continues to go well, 9 minutes 22 seconds into flight. Here inside the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center at the Mission Director Center, mission managers watching the progress of the liftoff today. And RL-10 continuing to perform well. Uh, Centaur PU requesting a near nominal mixture ratio. This is the Launch Control Center inside the Space Flight Operations Center. The team of launch engineers that successfully saw to the liftoff of Atlas and Centaur. Now passing today. 10 minutes into flight. Centaur is now 190 miles in altitude, 1,360 miles downrange distance, traveling at 13,700 miles per hour. And vehicle trajectory uh, continuing down the middle of the range track. RCS activity is as expected, continuing with periodic firings to maintain thermal conditioning of the system. Just about seven minutes remaining in the Centaur first burn today, taking the Tetris spacecraft to its initial point in space. Now passing 11 minutes, 30 seconds into flight, RL-10 continues to perform very well. Uh, chamber pressure is uh, remaining stable, looking good within expected ranges. Uh, propellant utilization system continuing to request a near nominal mixture ratio. And RCS firings continuing periodically as planned to maintain thermal conditioning. And the Centaur is now 178 miles in altitude, 1,790 miles downrange distance, traveling at 15,200 miles per hour. Patrick Moore from United Launch Alliance providing vehicle ascent commentary for us. And we are just about five minutes away from second stage now passing Centaur engine. 13 minutes into, into flight, approximately five minutes remaining in this uh, first Centaur burn. About five minutes away from the second stage main engine cutoff. After that, there will be a long coast phase, which will last approximately 90 minutes before spacecraft separation.